And uh, they're off. From between horses, there goes Miss Kitty B for the lead. Along the inside, it's Lookout Victory with Raging Goal third. Around the first turn they go, and Menzi will put Miss Kitty B on the lead by two, two and a half. With Lookout Victory in second, a length and a half. Raging Goal third, another length and a half back to I Love Livia. Then it's back to Victory in fifth, another three back, Jet Francis Boko. Another two and a half to Habit. Then it's Financial Page, another length and a half to Hot Penny Love, and two and a half to Knee Knocker. Opening quarter, 28 seconds. Down the back stretch they go. And John Patterson Jr. wants the lead with Lookout Victory. And she takes over now by a length and a half, too, with Miss Kitty B second by two and a half. Raging Goal in third. Another length and a half to I Love Livia fourth. Back to Victory. The outside fifth. Then it's Jet Francis Boko with cover sixth. Financial Page is seventh after that habit. The trailers on Knee Knocker and Hop Penny Love. Half 57 and one. On to the far turn, and look out, victory, by a length and a half. Menzi sits in the pocket with Miss Kitty B. Back to victory on the outside, moving steadily from third. Midway around the final turn, and it's look out, victory, enjoying a length, length and a half lead. Back to victory, attacks on the outside second with Miss Kitty B in third. Jet Francis Boko coming into contention. Three quarters and one, 26 and two, and they're on their way home. And it's Lookout Victory. She's in full stride, leading it here by two. That's Miss Kitty B, second. Up on the outside, back to victory. The inside, raging goal. And Jet Francis Boko. But nobody's catching. Lookout Victory and John Patterson, Jr. winning the Cadillac Hamiltonian Oaks in 155-1. And and now this uh, filly shows nothing but uh, front-end speed. Uh, was she good in the, as good in the second heat as she was in the first today? Yeah, this filly can do anything. She had never been worse in third all her life, and uh, to me it looked like she was just cruising with her today, and uh, the second heat doesn't seem to bother her a bit, no. Tell us about the track conditions today. I know you haven't been driving, but you've been uh, war warming horses up. Well, this track is always beautiful. I mean, when they have big races, it's always good. You know, fortunately we have, we have, we have beautiful weather, and uh, the track cannot be better. What's next for uh, Lookout?